Hello. Today we're going to be looking at a mosque shooting that left 40 people injured and 51 killed. The attack took place in New Zealand on the 15th of March 2019 at 1.40 p.m. The shooter was later identified as Brenton Harrison Tarnett, a 28-year-old man who was described as a white supremacist. It is believed that the attack was caused by an increase in white supremacy and alt-right extremism that can be seen since 2015 globally. What makes this case super interesting is that before the attack took place, he released a manifesto, which is currently banned in New Zealand, but not only that, but he was also live streaming the attack. I've seen the video. I don't recommend you seek it out. It's very disturbing, but I'm not your dad. You can do whatever you want. But oddly enough, during Harrison's stream, he gave a shout out to the YouTuber PewDiePie, which got him in trouble for some reason. He approached the Al Noir Mosque in Richardson, where he allegedly was greeted by a worshiper who greeted him with a hello brother before receiving nine shots from a semi-automatic shotgun killing him. He dropped the shotgun and entered the mosque with a AR-15 type rifle. He walked in, he spotted many people praying, he decided to open fire, ending their lives. Screams can be heard in the video as bodies fall and the floor is painted red. Men, women, children no one is spared people lie on the ground pretending to be dead but it doesn't matter because harrison shoots at the dead bodies making sure he killed them for sure he would often enter and exit the mosque to retrieve more weapons from his car he would end up using four rifles and two shotguns during his attack harrison after the shooting left the mosque in his silver subaru outback which was later ran by police, which ended up in his arrest. Harrison was tried and for his murders. Harrison had killed 51 innocent people, ranging from ages 3 to 77, truly New Zealand's worst massacre.